Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we took care of Tajin's Towers, Tiers 4, 5, and 6. Also we took care of Seastone Missions 24 and 25. And then at the end of the episode I showed you guys a, my personal favorite grind spot for CP. And I advise you guys do the grind spot. Um, until you get until you max out everyone's crystarium and then get 750,000 CP saved up. Now I know that seems like a lot, but doing this grind spot, if you were to start at zero CP, getting 750,000 CP would take a maximum of two hours, which really isn't that bad considering it's 750,000 CP. And by doing this, um, not only will you have a lot of CP saved up. But whenever the Crystarium expands, you're going to be able to spend a million CP right off the bat. Alright, so for you guys that didn't see the last um, episode, so you're wondering where the CP grind at. We are at um, Tajin's Tower on the 5th tier. And right here, um, next to the save point, there are two flights of steps with the save point in the middle. Now at the bottom of the steps, you'll see that there are five pulse work gladiators. So upon beating these guys, you get 8,000 CP points. After you beat them in order to get them to respawn again, all you have to do is run to the top of the stairs. So you backtrack over to here. And then up top, you'll see a vampire enemy, that big guy right there. Run over to him and beat him. And by the time you defeat that guy, the guys back downstairs will have respawned. So the vampire guy gives you 2,350 CP. And the pulse work gladiators at the bottom give you 8,000 CP. So that means you're getting a total of 10,000 CP for every 3 minutes. And if you preemptive strike these guys, you can beat them both within 2 minutes. So you're going to get 8,000 CP every 2 minutes with a preemptive strike and every 3 minutes if you just fight them normally. So this is my personal favorite grind spot until the end of the game and then after you beat the game there's a better grind spot. But until then this is my favorite. So you guys should have maxed out your character's Crystarium for their primary roles. We're not working on their secondary just yet but we will shortly. But for now, we just max out the character's um, current Crystarium for their primary roles. And then save up 750,000 CP with all your characters. So as you can see, everyone's generally around the 800,000 mark, except for Fang, who's at 754,000 CP. Alright, so after you've got enough CP, that'll greatly help you guys out. Now let's continue moving on with the story. So after we defeated Seastone Mission 25, now we need to find Seastone Mission 26 and take it out so that we can advance to the top of the tower. So after taking them guys out, make sure you open up the treasure ball to the left here for a Libroscope. And then enter the narrow <clears throat> hallway at the other end of the room. Here you'll find another statue. And over to the right you'll find a tyrant. So let's take out this guy first. Huh. 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 
By the way, the Tyrant has 792,000 HP. But you should already know about this guy if you've been following this walkthrough. We fought one of these guys back in Mahabara in the optional area. So whenever he makes his Centurion Blade, go ahead and take out the Centurion Blade first because that's just deadly. Keep the enemy off now. Oh, that's not good. Change of plan. by that sword, man. Jesus. Alright, so let's go ahead and own this guy because he just made me look bad. Take that. Just owned them in one stagger. But make sure you take out that Centurion Blade as soon as he um, forges it because that thing is really deadly. Alright, so after you clear out that enemy, go ahead and examine the statue. And this will give you Sea Stone Mission 26. So shrill the cry. The mark is Pinnin Galen. And the location is Tajin Tower, 6th tier. And the class is B. So go ahead and accept the mission. And then turn around and head through the doorway to the inner ring. And turn right. And then follow the inner ring all the way to the next statue. Back again. I'm getting tired of this. Let's double back. Alright, so before you could reach the uh, statue, the Pulse Foul C will show up and cover the area in ice, ice so that you can't head over there. So now we're going to turn around and head back the way we came. So follow the inner ring back to the area where we fought the tyrant and accepted the Sea Stone mission. And then head back to where we fought the Pulse Force Gladiators. Let's go ahead and take them out again for more CP. The more the merrier. And I was just getting started. So as you can see, we get 8,000 CP for that battle. That's why I like grinding here. 
that place is excellent for uh, CP farming. So after you take them out, head back up the steps and you'll be back on the sixth tier. <clears throat> so go ahead and enter the inner ring and then turn left. And head to the last door on the left. So go ahead and enter that and you'll find the mark. Alright, so after you take out the uh, side bats, go ahead and you can Libra the Pentagaglin. And you'll see that it has 252,252 HP. So let's go ahead and stagger this guy. If he can even last that long. Alright, so that guy didn't last long enough to even get staggered. <laughs> so for winning the battle, you get 6,100 Christian points. And the mission complete. So for completing mission 26, So Shrill the Cry, you'll get a diamond bangle. And your party has earned the rank of Monumental Ally. Alright, so after taking care of Sea Stone Mission 26, you'll get that Diamond Bangle. Go ahead and throw that onto Lightning because it increases her maximum HP by 500. Um, by the way, I know that uh, um, I said to make sure you get the ribbon and fully upgrade it and then put it on Lightning. And that is an excellent accessory, one of the best accessories in the game because... Uh, it gives you the passive ability resilience plus 25 percent so what that means is you're immune to all status ailments such as deep protect poison d shell um daze all status ailments you're immune to them by 25 percent so that's an excellent accessory but we're only going to need it for like boss battles wherever um the boss likes to put some nasty status effects or status ailments on the party then is when the ribbon really comes in handy but until then we're just gonna roll with the diamond bangle aurora scarf and sprint shoes for lightning all right so after you beat um mission 26 then you will have completed all of tajan's towers sea stone missions and now you'll be able to advance to the top of the tower so in order to get there, we're going to head back to where we were earlier, where the boss um, blocked our path with the ice in front of the statue. So let's go ahead and exit this room, but let's kill off these bats before we leave. Alright, so after clearing them out, go ahead and head back to the inner ring. And take a right.
really worth the effort. Alright, so after you've completed all six Sea Stone missions within Tajin's Tower, you can now ride the elevator to the top so that we can leave this place. So in order to get the elevator where it needs to go so that it can reach the top of the tower, we're going to have to head back to the uh, statue that was at the end of the inner ring that we went to earlier. But the Pulse Foul Sea blocked the way with some ice. So go ahead and head back to the inner ring and then enter the last door on the right. And then head back down the stairs where we did the CP farming earlier. And we might as well kill off the pulse work gladiators again for the extra 8,000 CP. Alright, after clearing them out, go ahead and head back through the uh, narrow hallway. And then turn right and enter the inner ring again. Now when you approach the statue, you'll get a scene. Saved us again. Yeah. Huh. You want to help us? Just count our blessings. The way's clear. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So after the scene, you'll now be able to approach the statue at the end of the inner ring. Go ahead and examine it. Alright, so after examining it, the tower will shift again. 
and the central elevator can now reach the sixth tier. Alright, so with that taken care of, go ahead and turn around and enter the first door on the left. And let's clear out these enemies. Target's a target. And then we got one more group of enemies to take care of. Once you've cleared out all the enemies in this area, go ahead and board the elevator. <laughs> 